Hey everyone, it's Emmy's Night and we're having our own form of joyous coverage with Kelly, Daniel, and our very own special guest this week is Liam Makelum, CBS's entertainment reporter, covered the Oscars, the Grammys, the Emmys. Tough gig, someone had Tough. to, right? Of course, <laughs> and here with us uh, today to give you his perspective on what we're going to see tonight. Emmy Knight can start without talking about red carpet fashion. Right. Well, you know, the guys, it's it's tough for us because we can, there are a few things we can do to we're really limited. create. We're limited, very. Right. But you're, you're brave, little blue, little black mm -hmm. right there. Yeah, you're you're wearing blue and black too, and we didn't even have a phone call this morning. It just happened. <laughs> well, you know, I'd love to take credit for it, but I'm going to be honest, I stole this from Bond. Yes, Mr. Daniel Craig, he wore this at the British equivalent of the Oscars, the BAFTA Awards. Uh, I saw this jacket and thought it was good enough for Bond, it's good enough for me. That's right. So a little satin, a little shiny, a little pocket square. Looks Is it working? Great. I love the polka dot. Yeah. I love the hit yeah. of the polka dot in yeah. here. Not too nice. shaken, not too stirred. I'm predicting for the Emmys to see a lot of plunging necklines and long sleeves. I think they look great together. I do too. I think it's a nice juxtaposition. It is. It's sure. like the yin and the yang of the yes. whole thing. And I'm even seeing, I saw Selena Gomez wore Versace to the VMAs and she had underwear as outerwear. Mm. I'm seeing that taking place as well on yeah. the carpet. A lot of um, lingerie inspired dresses, I think, and kind of very, there's going to be a feminine romantic romantic notion going on, I think, on the Emmys this notion. year. Notion. Yes, there is. Yeah. Notion. Um, I definitely, last year we saw a lot of florals. We're going to see florals again, but I think the florals are going to be more delicate, more like touches of florals, maybe actually appliqued flowers, very feminine. I think there's definitely going to be a romantic feeling to all of the red carpet looks this year. And I really think that there's going to be softer, a softer palette of pastels and sorbet colors and lots of layering and just really so I wish pretty. The guy, I wish the guys could wear sorbet colors. Never they works could. for us. You could. Yeah. You could. <laughs> I'm looking forward to seeing the Kates. I always say I think the Kates. Yes. Kate Winslet, Kate's Kate Beckinsale, well. Kate Blanchett. Yeah. I mean, Kate Hudson. They always have these structured yet very feminine Beautiful. dresses. Yes. So I don't know. Every time I see them on the red carpet, I'm a little inspired. I think I think pink will be in. I think there'll be a lot of pink, and I, I love so. seeing red. I love seeing red on the red carpet. All right. So I thought it would be fun to take it upon myself and pick out your red carpet looks, each one of you. Oh, so um, Love that. I hope you like them. I and love it. you know what? We might not be going down the red carpet this year, but at least we'll look like we are. And right? we are in our minds. And we are in our minds. <laughs> Digital I actually style. had a hard time picking mine because I was thinking, this is my one chance to pick my <laughs> Emmy dress. <laughs> anyway, so Daniel. I thought that you would look great in Valentino. Oh boy. Of course. I think I look great in Valentino as well. <laughs> what a smart I mean, dress. Yes. Holy smokes. Valentino yeah. is a classic, but I love this because it's kind of a shrunken kind of schoolboy look for you, which yes, I think you look great in. Shrunken yes. schoolboy look. And, you know, my inner, my no. inner gossip girl. I know yeah. that you love bow ties, so I thought let's mix it up and get you just a skinny tie. You look I so hip well, in this look. Well, thank you. You always look hip, but I think that looks hip great on you. And nice um, so the next one is Liam, and I know Liam, you like the two tone, oh, my the God. two tone yeah. tuxedo. Gosh! So I <laughs> thought, wow, yeah, I let's like get that. you in some gray, because yeah, gray is the color for fall. You own so, that right there. You think so? Really? We're going after the show to get you that. <laughs> Since gray, so this is a Dolce and Gabbana. I love it. Absolutely. It's sexy. Love it. You're sexy. I yeah, think you can pull you. it off. Wow! You're giving James Bond a run for his money. <laughs> I'm bringing sexy okay. back, Daniel. Look out, baby. So next is my. I look and I thought yes hello Zach Posen always does the most amazing red carpet dresses That's and gorgeous. you know I'm absolutely a huge fan of red. Yeah. So, um, That's amazing. I thought if I'm going down the red carpet, I'm going to wear red. I love yeah. those collarbones, so, too. Holy smokes. I know. <laughs> Look at them. And then I, I bought some collarbones. <laughs> My word. For, for mermaid, the event. The mermaid silhouette and, as well, I love. Yeah, stunning. And then Sikender, I put you oh. in. Oh. Zach Posen. I'm excited. I, yeah. I know how much you love, um, you love those, like, form-fitted bodycon dresses and I think that this looks amazing on you and I thought this color would look great on you. Oh, silver. Beautiful. And metallic is going to be on the red carpet so I thought you should be wearing it. Can we be your dates for our pretend Emmy Awards? Who gets who? Together? Who gets who? Uh, I'll, no, take, I, I'll take it. Okay. All right, okay. Don, it's me you, baby. I did actually think that you would look better with her outfit. Who's the hottest couple uh, on the court? Wearing her outfit? <laughs> no, I thought that the okay. two of you would look 
better, but I'm fine. I'll sure. be your date for sure. I'll be yours. I'll be yours. It's all good. <laughs> wow, thank you, Kelly, for giving us our own red carpet looks. What a nice <laughs> treat and surprise. So, of course, we're getting to our favorite Emmy picks, shows. What are you rooting for tonight? No, you know, I'm, I'm excited that most of the television shows are non-traditional broadcasts. So right. a lot of the cable shows are doing really well. So, you know, it's it's Newsroom on HBO. Uh, it's Breaking Bad on AMC. Homeland, it's Homeland on yeah. Showtime. It's amazing. Uh, and, of course, you know, I'm kind of fed up with the usual suspects winning. So I love Alec Baldwin. <laughs> You're a I love rebel. Tina Fey. But, you know, please, <laughs> 3 Rock. Really, they should. I think they should have a cap on the number of times you can win because when they win too often, it gets boring. So. No, it's true. Yeah. Actually, yeah. it gets you very know, predictable. I'm voting for Elizabeth Moss. For I'm a huge Mad Men fan, and yeah. she's never won. And I think this was the best year for her yet. And I definitely am rooting for her. Oh, that's your favorite pick. Yeah, yeah, I love her. I love her. What have you got, Liam? That you're rooting for? Uh, I'm very excited about Downton Abbey. Uh, of course, I've got to keep up my British end. Uh, I, think, I think it's a great show. The acting is superb. The script is superb. The directing is superb. Uh, what, what can you not love about Downton Abbey, Daniel? <laughs> I'd be lying if I said I was hooked on a drama series since, like, not even college. Yeah. No, I'm, like, reality TV all the way. Oh, I'm of, course, of course you are. For outstanding right. reality competition, I'm voting for Dancing with the Stars. Because I dressed oh. Karina, and I actually, nice. I oh, hadn't seen cool. the show in years, and I went to the show on Monday, to the premiere. Mm -hmm. And it was like going to the best dance recital of my life. Sure. Yeah. It was so yeah. fun. And J-Lo was there. Come on. She was like right across from me. I think we had a moment. Yeah. Oh, I bet. I bet. I can see with reality TV. I mean, for me, I am hooked on Game of Thrones. I'm um, though very, very depressed by the ending to last season. Like, so shocking to believe yeah. it. It gets you sad. Reality yeah. TV does not get you sad. I understand. That's right. But, like, Daenerys Targaryen, the woman who I think plays that character, is up for a Best Actress Peter nomination. Peter Dinklage is up for Best Actor. Oh, yes, exactly. You know. I mean, it's. I mean, Game of Thrones is incredible. Of course, Homeland 2, yeah. captivating. Yeah. Um, but those are my two favorites. I'm rooting for Tim Gunn. I love Tim Gunn on Project Runway. I think... He's up this year, he's up for a nomination, and I think he's gonna win it. He's yeah. got to. He deserves it. We he love deserves it. Joyous, we actually. love him. He's, he's, he's great. He's great. I love him. He's great TV. <laughs> he's great TV. Yeah, he's, he's great TV. He's compelling to watch. Yeah, and he also seems like such a nice he's guy. Such he's such a nice smart. guy. He knows yes. what he's talking about. Yeah. 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 yeah, exactly. All right, so Tim Gunn is a, is a favorite. We hope he all wins, right? <laughs> uh, Sean. <laughs> all right, we've heard what everybody likes, but Liam, what are your professional predictions? Downton Abbey in drama all the way for the series, ensemble cast, ensemble cast, the actors and uh, the actresses. But I think uh, the actor who really deserves some credit at an Emmy is Michael Douglas and of course Matt Damon. They're both up and they're against each other for Behind the Candelabra. Uh, one of those guys is gonna walk home with an Emmy uh, tonight for the great uh, biopic on Liberace. So. All yeah. right, thanks for your picks. Yeah, let's, well, let's see how I do. All right, so of course we've talked a lot about the red carpet and celebrities, but what about for your own special red carpet moments in your own life? How do you feel amazing or look amazing? I think that women should actually embrace wearing their nice clothes. A lot of times women have these gorgeous things and they're in the back of their closet. And I think that they should actually just wear them more often and enjoy them because that's what they're there for. And I think it's also great a great um, tip is fit. I think fit is so important when you're wearing a beautiful dress that you have to have it fit just right. Because if it's not, it's not going to show off your figure. It's not going to look as special as it could. And I think accessories, Daniel, I mean, you can talk about accessories. They're so key. Whether I'm dressing celebrities or real people, well, not that celebrities aren't real people, but <laughs> whenever I'm dressing women, the accessories have a lot to do with their personalities. If I notice that someone's really chatty and they're always talking with their hands, I give them a great cocktail ring. If they're really flirty and they're always moving their hair around, a brilliant chandelier earring looks nice. great. Or a bib necklace if you're just looking to make a bold statement on a black dress is always really strong. And you, the guys, you know, you can accessorize. You know, I only have a couple of smart jackets, uh, but what I'll do is I'll get a, a pocket chief, a uh, different tie. So, you know, gals, if you're buying mm -hmm. for your guys, or guys, if you're buying for your guys, you know, mix up the tie, yeah. mix up the pocket chief. And it's a great way for a guy yeah. to express themselves, for Absolutely. sure. Absolutely, yeah. So, um, and on that great advice, we're happy to give away tonight your own great red carpet accessory, which mm -hmm. is five of our favorite lipsticks from Julie Hewitt, her that fan is my favorite. lipstick. I, I love that, love that Ooh, lipstick. It is amazing, it is the actually. Best. Um, all you have to do is write into Facebook and give us your favorite show or favorite Emmy nominee for tonight, and you could win one of these five lipsticks. So, uh, take a shot.
Talk all, right. all right, and with that, a special thanks again to Liam for joining us tonight with all your Emmy expertise. Uh, and of course, we'll give you a sneak peek of what's coming up this week on Joyous, and hope you enjoy your Emmy night.